What is up, my friends? This is Mike again. Uh, here with another, I guess you could say, another mini tutorial video of, of ProPresenter for Windows. Uh, this is kind of just going to show the advanced features of how you can, like, wow, my cell phone's going off. What an amazement. Uh, I, I guess I got to text that person back in just a minute as soon as I finish this. Uh, I guess. One of the more features I can show you is how to change the logo. Uh, as you can see right here, we have our beautiful Jungle Mania logo. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Jungle Mania is, that's the Kids Kaboom theme for this year, if you know what Kids Kaboom is. Now, if you want to change that to, uh, let's say I got some, I probably have something random on the desktop. Uh, you know what? Yes, I do. Let's say it's that 220 uh, Youth Choir of photo right there. By the way, they did an excellent job uh, this past week. How do I know? Because I was in it. <laughs> so, uh, let's say we want to change it to that. You go click on the Pro Presenter button, which if you're familiar with a Mac, that's a normal button, but if you're more of a Windows person, that's new. It's right next to the file. Uh, you want to click Preferences and go to Logo. You just want to click on that. And are good, are good. Now it opens the, the folder of which you last imported media to. So you want to go to your desktop, which is where I conveniently place this photo. I believe this is it right here. So we hit open. Save and close. Alright, so look, why is aim showing up? Uh, so let's hit this, sla this blank slide right here. And hit logo again, and there you have it. You have the 220 Youth Choir image. And again, just like the last video, ignore the watermark. That's just because we didn't register. I didn't register the product yet. Now let's go back into the preferences menu, and I'll explain that just a little further. In the general, you can you can check for updates, change your logo like we just did, and uh, organize your libraries. Uh, there's also a media file search path. I haven't tried that yet, but uh, we. We usually won't use the copyright, but display, um, like whenever we go to plug this into the 220 computer or whatnot, uh, you would configure this to play background number two going up to the screen and this, and the screen you're looking at right now, well, minus the presenter preferences, that's going to be your, that's going to be your primary monitor. Secondary monitor will be up on the stage. And I would just show this image right here minus the watermark. Uh, labels. Uh, there's actually a lot. This is like your categories for your songs. You got presentation, Bible, main, youth, hymn, contemporary, traditional, etc., etc., etc. Now there's also slide labels. Uh, we won't mess with this that much, but there's bridge, chorus, intro, outro, pre-chorus. I don't know why they made pre-chorus black, because I think that's what color the text is. A uh, refrain, solo, verse, etc., etc. DVD we won't use that much. Uh, live video uh, we'll never use because we have, don't even have webcams. And sync uh, if you want to sync something that goes. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't even know what sync is about, so I'm not even gonna talk about that. Uh, let's see what else can I mess with. Uh, creating a playlist. Now, I'll create these ahead of time, but just for reference, if you want to create a new playlist, you would just hit this button right down here. This is actually a new, that's a new folder for type of playlist. And this is playlist. Sorry, I'm losing my voice. I actually sang the 220 Youth Choir this past weekend, so, yeah, three services and singing uh, a song. By the way, if you know the song Say Say, say there's lyrics that say, say, sing loud, sing like you mean it. Yeah, I don't think they mean that literally, but. So, let's just call this a sample playlist. And uh, I actually placed a couple songs into the library. Uh, I really didn't build upon this library that much. Uh, since the last uh, video. Wow, what a surprise. It's not responding. See, this is actually what I like about Max better. You know, long well, link. Maybe I should reply to this text message. Sorry if you're hearing beeping in the background. Da, 
no, no, no. Okay, it's back. Okay, I might as well just finish this. Hey, you want to just be safe silent. There we go. Alright, so we got our sample playlist up. Let's say uh, Your Grace is Enough is the one song that I want to put it. You just click and drag your, your song into the playlist. And eventually it will show up in your playlist. And it will also show up up here. Now, this is actually kind of cool features that they put in the ProPresenter 4. Uh, this wasn't in ProPresenter 3 when it was just for the Mac. So, let's just add your name high, uh, just for a second. Now, suppose that we are done with your, uh, your grace is enough. Okay, just to hit the event realistic, let's put a background up. Suppose you're done with this song. Song's cleared. Now, you want to go to your name high without clicking it. You could go up here and click this arrow right here next to the name name of the song, click it, and it folds up. I love this like a fat kid loves cake. Yeah, I know that's Brian's line, but... But, uh... Now, just to the basics of how to play a song, you just gotta click on the slide. And then just click, keep clicking on each side, just to tram keep going to the uh, different slides. Now, messages, I'm gonna clear all so it's kinda easier to see. Uh, templates, I actually gotta mess around with more. Uh, that's probably gonna be in the, in the next video. But messages, that's just like, let's say, I don't know, Josh Bender, who's, uh, one of our small group leaders. He left his car on. Yeah, I know that says Brad from Alabama. We're all laughing hysterically. Uh, to change that, you just type it in, uh, Josh Bender Lights. On. Yes, you gotta add that many expl exclamation points. And then you would just hit send message. How I'm gonna format this is that the message will show on the bottom of the screen. I know the, that's what we're used to at 220 now. So, yeah, the message shows up on the screen and then just hit hide. So I'm gonna edit the text and everything just to make it look a little better. So, uh... That's all I've really messed up, messed with since the last time. Oh, before I forget, there's also a cool feature. At church, you know the cool little videos that we show on the center screen? Well, they're called iFlex videos. Well, I figured out we could put them in the win Pro Presenter for Windows, too. So, let's say, this is a song from the Inside Out. And ironically, I still gotta add this song. Uh, so basically, just like any other song, you would just play it by just clicking on it. And that's the same for basically any other video. Except that's not going to show up. That's going to show up. So that's the first one. I'm going to label the verses and hopefully make a folder. So that's about it with the iFlexes. That's all I can really show you for now. Uh, definitely count on there being a part three video of this. You know what? I might, I might actually just make this a part, part two or three. Yeah, we're doing a three part video. I'll do, do this next week. So. Hope this helped. I will see you guys later. Talk to y'all. Bye.